So if you give me 10 minutes today, I think I can show you something that is pretty useful to the majority of folks here. Um, so a, a quick introduction here. My name is Amber Weiss. I am a Power Platform Global Black Belt at Microsoft, which is just a fancy way to say that I'm here to help customers adopt the Power Platform, kind of remove those technical blockers. So I am on our technical specialist team, so I focus on um, the, you know, the true technical side of the Power Platform. I'm based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I've been with Microsoft for about four years. So I want to first talk about a moment that I had with my teammate. We were we were chatting in our, our um, global black belt group chat, and somebody said, "How do you always create those back channel like those chats that you have? You know, you're you're in a customer call, and you're also like with the Microsoft folks, and you want to pull your team aside to ask them a question. How do you create those those? You know, what's the app that you use?" And um, our team's like, yeah, we do that manually. And so when you're a, a team full of power app nerds, somebody's going to say, oh, OK, I'll go build that. Right. I wish there was an app for that. And so I think that this was a, a great, a, a, you know, a real use case for me to be able to take, you know, a, a moment where I had the I wish there was an app for that moment and turn it into something that actually has really grown to be a, a, an awesome app within Microsoft that a lot of folks are using. So if you've ever had that moment where you want to like, you know, ask your teammates, hey, pull off to the side. How am I doing on time? Um, is my pitch landing? Uh, hey, who wants to take that last item as a follow up, right? These are the things you maybe want to start that side group chat to say, are we, is everyone fully aligned on what's happening here? Um, so if, does this re resonate with anybody? Like maybe thumbs up, give me a thumbs up reaction. If anybody has ever had this experience where you're in a, a, a chat and you want to pull some people aside, right? And so what I did here is I created this app. I call it Quick Chat. And what it is, is it's a power app that I surface in Teams that allows you to take the meetings on your Office 365 Outlook calendar and then um, specify, you know, being able to click on that item and being able to pull everybody internal to your organization who is on that meeting in, the ch in a chat and start a group chat um, using those individuals. So as you can see here, this is the, the user interface, and I'll actually show you a demo of this. But what it does is a Power Automate workflow is kicked off that then looks at your domain, right? That at Microsoft.com part of your email, and then says, who's everybody who's on this call that is also a part of that same domain? For me, at Microsoft.com. So it filters through all of that and then actually creates a group chat and then sends, um, you know, names the group chat according to the, the actual invite, and then sends that first message saying, Hey, Amber Weiss has created this group chat using Power Automate. Shameless plug for the Power Platform always. But that's how the whole process works. And it took me two hours to build this. And I think that's, you know, the beauty of the Power Platform is that quick time to value. Two hours. And I say, guys, how does this look? It looks great. And they're like, cool, you should add this feature and that feature, right? And I think that probably resonates with all of us here is that the Power Platform, you know, allows you to build things fast and really prove out value for a use case. And so this is a screenshot here of that last message that comes out and says, hey, you know, welcome, uh, Amber started this chat. Another thing I added to this is a way for an app to have organic growth. So I know that, you know, there's kind of like the shame on you if you use the share with everyone option when you're sharing out a power app, right? Like never, not really best practice. Does everyone truly need it? But there's sometimes where you're saying, well, I want this to be able to grow organically. And so what I did in my app is I created this ability to share the app with a friend. And all a user has to do is input um, their, you know, internal friends uh, Microsoft email in there and then I actually take it put it in a SharePoint list and then pick it up from there and then it what it does is it uh, adds the user to the back end group that manages access to the app and then um, whenever somebody is added to that that group it also sends them an email saying hey you've been added to this quick chat group here's what this app's all about here's how to pin it in teams all of those really um, awesome features so that was kind of a side piece that I added on and continue to add on as I'm seeing you know new requests come in about this application so let me give you a quick uh, peek at this app. So what I do here is I actually have it pinned on the rail in Teams. So this is a demo environment, um, but make it really easy for if I'm in a, a, a meeting to be able to come in here and say, hey, I'm on, you know, I'm in this meeting right now. Who is a part of that? Let's show the attendees. OK, these are the people that would be added to the, the chat with me. And what I can do is I can choose to add optional attendees as well. Otherwise, I can just start that internal chat. And then what you'll see is the, the workflow will run and then it'll add those folks into the chat, rename the chat for me and then send that initial message. So in a moment here, we'll see um, that group chat being created. And there we see it. 
and it says internal and then sync on project, the name of the, our uh, specific meeting, and then says that I've created this chat. And then we can go in and start typing away and, and, and talking with each other. So, you know, it's a cool app. We've all created really awesome apps, and I think this is a really um, great app that a lot of folks have been using within Microsoft. But I think the one of the cooler, like bigger pictures here is the, you know, Power Platform plus Microsoft Teams story. Um, so being able to enhance and augment really that Teams as a platform by using Power Platform. I think that being able to meet the users where they are is really important. A lot of us spend the majority of our day in Teams. And so being able to have that app pinned right on the left, left side rail is really um, helpful and easy to access for folks. And also, uh, you know, a uh, shameless uh, plug here is like, imagine if we could drive Power Platform interests through Teams, right? It takes that one message when you're in a big chat and then all of a sudden that message comes through saying, Amber created this group chat via Power Automate. And everyone's like, wait a second, I want that, right? And so what if we ever, you know, what if we could get to that point where the Teams usage and Power Platform usage was the same, right? That's like the dream goal here is to make everybody who's in Teams using Power Platform. And I think this is a great way to do it. It gives you um, a, like hand, a hands on example of how to make this happen, how to use the platform. And actually, a lot of our sales folks, they'd say, you know, I pitch Power Platform all day, but I don't have an app that I use day in, day out that I can actually like connect with the customer and say, hey, this is how I use Power Platform every day. And this has kind of been on their tool belt now is they'll say, hey, you want to see something I use every day? So it's kind of empowered a lot of folks in our organization to be able to create these chats and then also being able to just talk about the, the power of Power Platform plus Teams. And honestly, I'll also add plus Azure because I have App Insights tied into this as well. So um, I'll put in the chat some reference materials for um, a LinkedIn article uh, blog that I wrote and also where to grab it on GitHub. Feel free to take it, modify it, run with it. Let me know if you have any ideas. This is really was just, again, born out of having that I wish there was an app for that moment. And, uh, you know, it kind of has turned into something that a lot of folks have uh, drawn a really uh, interest to. So with that, that is uh, all I have for you today. So I'll, I'll see if there's any questions. Amber, there was one question that popped up, and I think people said it, after you add the internal attendees, can you take them out? I thought I saw that capability in there in your app. Yeah, so you could take folks out of a uh, of the meeting, or if you're like, oh, hey, and also I do want to add this additional person, you could do that. Okay. Um, I don't want this to be like a, a you know like a oh, a secret app where we have like a secret meeting. It's more about being able to you know quickly do things that you do anyway and manually and having those moments on the side to say, hey, did somebody catch that last follow up item? Like, how do we, you know, so being it more of a, a get empowering the end users rather than, you know, creating little secret side chats. But yeah, it's really uh, been, you can easily add and remove people. You can, you know, add and continue it as like a persistent chat because it doesn't go away after the meeting. That's awesome. I can totally see how this could hook into that meeting capture app. That's one of the sample templates. That yeah. Would be a nice fit. One more question for you. I love the solution you did to help organically grow it by letting people spread the word through the app. Is that a component by any chance? It's not, but it definitely okay. should be. I would love to snap that component into lots of different apps. That would be cool. Yeah, I, I say that my um, my goal for this next fiscal year is to be more you know, I create these awesome things and I forget to package them and, and put them out there. And I so I'm going to <laughs> be more intentional about doing that. Um, so I'll definitely uh, put that on my list. It's a, it's a great point. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, I see people asking in chat, when is the app available? Or uh, we'll get the Heidi's about to drop these links into the chat for you so you can download it and try it out. That's awesome. awesome. And yeah, I'll put the chat. Uh, yeah, I'll put, I'll put the links in the chat um, so that you all Thanks. can grab it from GitHub. Thanks a ton, Amber. Thank you, That's everyone. Awesome. I'm going to be downloading it this afternoon too. Cool. I always have a busy day after these community calls to try out all these new things I see. Mm -hmm.